you can have force light off and then we'll turn off and that's how it will usually is and as you can see I'll show you right here going live <laughs> it is it is pretty neat see that's what you see right there you you don't know that there is uh, a camera but that's what it sees hello guys life hackster here today we are going to review and check out the zosi c186 this is a wired poe or power over ethernet ip camera that has a low light sensor and almost exactly like the Reolink CX410. And I'll show you a comparison footage later on. I initially saw this camera at the Zosi booth at CES this year. And Zosi shipped this to me a few months back. So Zosi, thank you for sending me the C186 to be checked out. As you can see, it has a pretty good video quality at night in low light situations. And the other good thing about this camera is its price. It is currently 70 bucks at Amazon. But wait before you click off and add this to your Amazon cart. You have to watch the whole review because this camera was unusable when I first set it up so you have to keep on watching. I actually started to check this camera out about a month ago. I initially set it up to record to the micro SD card and everything was fine until I tried downloading the footage. I couldn't find the motion event footage in the timeline. Just to make this long story short, the firmware has an issue on the camera's time that it will reset every time I close the app so the camera was unusable. Anyways, Zosi fixed it, but there's more issues which I'll talk about here in a bit. So this camera records in 3K quality, 2880 by 1620 pixel resolution at 24 frames per second. Now the 24 FPS, you have to work for it to get that frame rate and you will see later on. This has a 90 degree horizontal and 50 degree vertical field of view. And because this is a low light sensor camera with a 1.0 aperture, it doesn't have infrared night vision. But when it gets totally dark, it has supplemental spotlights that is brightness adjustable so that you will still get full color recording at night. It has smart AI detection and can be set up by itself as a PoE camera and to record to a micro SD card and up to a 128 gigabyte card. Or you can plug it into Zosis NVR. This is on VIF compatible camera so you can use this with other compatible security camera software and NVR. Inside the box, you will get some paperwork, mounting screws, mounting template, and a window sticker, weatherproof ethernet lid, and the camera itself, bullet type, and all metal, low light lens here, three spotlights, and the mic. On the back, we have the speaker and a screwed in cover for the micro SD card. And for the connections, we have a reset switch and an ethernet port for PoE or power over ethernet for one cable connection or directly to your network, which you need to power it up separately, 12 volts DC. Then you will get a short ethernet cable. To set up, I'll insert a micro SD card first. I'll plug in the camera to my PoE switch, open up the Zosi app, Click the plus sign, scan the QR code which is on the bottom of the camera, and wait until it is added. To install, screw in the camera with the three included screws. And you can easily adjust the position and tighten the collar to secure the position in place. Let's check the settings in the app. Click on the Zosi Smart app and you will see the snapshot from the camera. Click on it to get to live view which loads up pretty quick. In here you can start two way talk which is push and hold, half duplex. Take a snapshot or record the live view, and you can manually trigger the siren. Playback for the recorded events, they have an option for cloud recording subscription, which I didn't do, and I have set it to record to the micro SD card. And you will see the timeline of the events. You can expand the timeline. Now to download the footage to your phone, there is no download option, so you do have to click record to record the current view. Just click record again to stop, and this will be saved on the media tab on the app not on your phone yet. And if you go back to the main page, click media, choose the camera, video, and you will see the recording. And to download this to your phone, click the pencil edit icon, choose the footage, and click the save button, which it will now be downloaded to your phone's album. Now, if you go to the footage on your phone's album and check the info, you will see that the downloaded footage is only at 10 frames per second which I also have tested this, hooking this camera up to Zosis NVR, and the same thing, only 10 FPS. Currently, you can only get the 24 or the 25 FPS if you remove the SD card and insert it in your computer to get the footage, and probably also if you have the cloud subscription. So hopefully they can fix this. Click the gear icon for the camera settings. We have the intelligent algorithm, and you can pick which smart detection you want, and there's a lot to choose from. 
I only set human and vehicle detection. And there's an option for motion zones but no sensitivity option. We have the light settings and you can set auto to have the supplemental lights turn on automatically when it gets too dark or force it to turn on or off or you can set it in a schedule. You can also set the brightness if you want and on the recording mode, motion recording or 24-7. Well, time to do some testing. And just a note that I got the recordings that you will see here directly from the micro SD card. So this is the video and audio quality of the Zosi C186. Video clarity test at 10 feet. 15. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Okay. All right. So just to show you how my backyard looks at night. It's not really dark. I have some lights inside. It, it bleeds through the blinds. The blinds are closed. And my neighbor's yard. And it's always have lights in there. But this is usually, it, it is dark. But it's not totally dark. So this is the video quality of the Zosi C186 at night. And this, we had some ambient lighting. And there's no lights or anything on the camera. And this one looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. This is the video quality of the Zosi C186. And this, I also turned the, the lights on. And this is on its minimum setting or minimum brightness. And this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the bit of quality of the Zosi C186 at night. And this, uh, I forcefully turned on the lights. And this is on its max brightness. And it will look like at 10 feet. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Zosi C186 and I'm on my 5G cellular network and it is 228 so let's check it out. It has rich notification and I think that's why there is a delay on this. I'll just I'll guess I'll just fast forward it okay see how long that was <laughs> right there okay so we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Zosi C186 so let's see 40 feet and as you know there's a delay so I, I guess what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna well not really because it's probably recording already so let's wait see now that was quick and this is 40 feet and me getting out of the shed right there see the notification is not consistent all right what I can tell you Hardware-wise, this camera is solid, just like the Reolink CX410. Software-wise though, this is where it needs improvement. 
They need to fix the 10 FPS issue, which also happens when the camera is connected to their NVR. The notification delay, I can tell you this is because of the snapshot. And this is a server lag from whatever or wherever the server they are using is, which temporarily stores the snapshots. If they can add an option for the user just to get a regular text notification, this will definitely be faster. Their AI smart detection as to humans is pretty spot on though. And what I like about this is that if you already saw the video quality at night, it is just like the CX410. So if you have some ambient lights in your house like street lights, you can run this without turning on its supplemental lights and nobody will know that there is a camera. Also because this is OnVIF compatible, if you're using NAS or Blue Iris, you can easily add this camera. And I wish Zosi can improve the issues that I mentioned here and this is going to be a contender to low light cameras like the Reolink CX410 and Tapos Color Pro. Now just a note, the 1.0 aperture low light sensors that these cameras are using are way better than any starlight sensor cameras out there. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.